Hello everybody. In today's video, we will look into root servers. What root servers actually are? Root servers provide IP routing tables of the autonomous systems in which the server resides. Actually, the concept of root servers came into being from the earlier stages of internet when unix based root serves are implemented what unix based root serves actually are configured with the custom routing softwares these custom routing softwares deals with the best path calculations they make the best path calculations and then provide these ip routing tables to different routing devices in order to form a backbone of the internet so why this root servers are interested why we need to focus on root servers because these root servers in earlier stages of internet were situated in the network access points but in today's scenario when we have various routers available from various vendors like cisco these routers are become very powerful and they are very cheaper so these can be implemented in respect to with respect to these routers unix based systems so these routers contains the ip routing tables and they can make path calculations using these ip routing tables the best path calculation algorithm is used in order to perform the best path calculation so today we will look into some public routers root servers which are available and in order to broaden our study in order to find out how the internet is formed and a lot of things so let's start this is my terminal window what i'm going to do is there are freely available public root servers which are provided by AT&T and and Cisco and a lot of various operators so you can find out a very good list on the internet and then you can use it and exploit it in order to broaden your search so let's see what i can do is i can simply use telnet and the target or the example public root server which i am going to use is the AT&T root server which is at root server dot ip dot at t dot net so this is the address here we are connected we will log in using the username our views and it is open password we can use a question mark in order to find out what commands we can use so here are the basic commands which we can use we can ping we can triple p disconnect enable for enabling privilege commands and a lot more issues can be solved using this why actually these routing tables are used these are used because these are stored in the ip routing devices that is the routers and they find out the best path and they communicate to the host or the target system to which you want to connect to so these are responsible for the worldwide internet network which is present in today's scenario so here are the following commands what i'm going to do is we can do some of the things like we can do a trace route to suppose this is then example 57. Dot 54.157 this is the IP of my website and here we can do a trace route in order to check the connectivity so using these methods it minimizes a lot of efforts in order to test the connectivity and to have a very deep look into the IP routing tables of the other network routers what more we can do is in order to view the bgp and the ip routing tables what i can do is i can simply ask him to show ip bgp why i'm using ip is because i want the ip addresses instead of names 
and regular expression which it is going to match is the number of the autonomous system this is the autonomous system number of Cisco routers AT&T autonomous system server 7018 I'll just hit enter and here I am presented with this this is the basic thing which you all study in books where various routing problems occurs the best path algorithms and all of those algorithms which you study in computer books in engineering books so this is the network this is the next hop list here are the metric log proof weight is zero and path and this is the defined path which is being used in order to reach or move to the next hub so here is the following so how we can do it more this is the one IP address this is another network these are the various hubs this is the way this is the path this is the path actually so you can use all of these in order to find out and test the connectivity to various networks and you can have a look into various IP routing tables you can understand the best path calculation algorithm in order to get at most knowledge about networking and to know actually how these routers are implemented how these are connected how the internet works so I hope you all got a good source and this will definitely give a lot of information about various architectures which are implemented in order to improve your networking career <coughs> so this is the following you can use it and you can follow these let me do an end statement and what more we can do is we can find out some commands using the show and question mark option and here are some of the commands a triple a adjacency paste up using this we can find out the arc tables of the router boot var compress connection cups damping and a lot of commands these can be used in order to find out how these works is you can simply use the show and the command name say AAA and the question mark and here you will be available with all of the options which you all can use so I request you all to use this video do some exercises and get to know about the IP routing tables which are stored in the routers in order to calculate the best path for you this will definitely help you in networking part and it will increase your understanding about what are the concepts in the books how those concepts are implemented in the real world situation in the networking and the inter-network criteria as far as concerned so I hope you all have enjoyed this video before moving to the end of the discussion here we will have a look into the BJP best path selection algorithm this is on the cisco.com image jif paws 13753 slash 25.pdf here you can download the pdf and can find out how this best path algorithm works this is the best resource in order to understand the BGP best path selection algorithm so I hope this will be a very nice session so thanks a lot please give comments I will be making more videos with respect to border gateway protocol in order to optimize your search and you in order to deliver you some good deliverables as far as networking and border gateway protocol is concerned so thanks a lot for watching thank you